What's up everybody, this is Jeremy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you an application um, called Double Twist. It's actually free, um, but I think they're going to be adding some extra features later on that you have to pay for. I'm not really sure what those are yet, but uh, go ahead and start up in the menu bar. Um, this tells you a little bit about the application. It uh, gives you your license agreement and the acknowledgments. Um, you can go up here and check for updates, which unfortunately there aren't any, which kind of sucks because uh, the devices, which I'll get into later, they don't support the iPhone yet on uh, Mac uh, or on OS X. Um, okay, your preferences here, which I'll get into in a second. Um, you can import videos from YouTube, which you just go in here and type the, uh, or copy and paste the link, and it'll import that into your videos. Um, shooter basic edit menu. Uh, and then there's a music player where you can drag your files into here and uh, set that like to repeat or to shuffle. Um, and I'll go ahead and go back into the preferences. Um, okay, there really aren't any preferences yet. Uh, basically, you can just have it set to uh, check for updates. I'm guessing whenever you open the application. Um, first thing over here is where you sign in and out of your profile. Then you go to my feed, which this shows you all of the updates from your friends, which right now I only know one person that uses Double Twist, um, which he's going to be making some videos for my YouTube soon, I hope. Um, right here, you can either uh, look at this in full screen, you can trash it, uh, you can close it, you can send it to your Facebook account, your Flickr account, or you can send it to other Double Twist users. Uh, and then you got your profile, which basically it says your account level is free, which is everybody. As far as I know, they haven't added any features you can pay for yet. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can put your name, uh, your sex, or and your email. Man, I didn't mean to click that. Um, photos, you can do your iPhoto, your pictures folder, which I think is just your double twist features, aperture. Um, let's go ahead and click this one, which actually you can resize your thumbnails however you want. Um, you go into view and you can take this into full screen. Uh, you can fit to screen if the picture's too large. Uh, you can import it to your iPhoto. Um, then you again you can send this to Facebook, Flickr, or uh, Double Twist users. Your music, you've got your music folder that you can make, and yes, I have an Aaron Carter song. It's a long story to that, but basically there was a kid on Call of Duty that there's a video of him somewhere on YouTube. He didn't know his mic wasn't muted and he was singing this song, so I just kind of listen to it every once in a while just to laugh and kind of make fun of that kid. Um, video, you've got your uh, movies folder, your iTunes, and your iPhoto, uh, which I'm sure you can probably add other folders to this. I'm not really sure. Um, a couple of these videos, most of these are mine that I've made. A couple of these, like this one's George Carlin. Uh, these are some YouTube ones, which I'll show you that in just a second. Um, again, you can play the video. Uh, you can send it to a to other Double Twist users. Uh, just send it to whoever you want. Uh, go in there to Adam, type it into him. Uh, and include a message so you can you know kind of give a little description of the video, and you can go to YouTube, which I'm gonna do this over here. Um, click on YouTube. And you can do it this way and send it, uh, publish it to YouTube. Or you can do this and you can actually drag and drop files that you want to add and publish to YouTube that aren't actually in your folder on here. Uh, uh, your devices, which this is just the uh, backup hard drive I use to back up and use this time machine. Um, you can actually use this for like PSPs and phones. Uh, to get a full list of the devices that are supported, you have to go to the Double Twist website and see. But uh, right now, it kind of sucks because the iPhone isn't supported. But once it is, it's actually going to be an easier way than iTunes to uh, sync your phone to uh, your computer because you can take videos that aren't actually in your iTunes uh, library and uh, put them on your phone. And if it's like if it's a format that's not supported by the iPhone, it'll actually convert it to um, a format that is 
support it on the iPhone or whatever device it is that you use. So it's definitely a cool way to add stuff to your phone and stuff like that without, you know, having to go in and try to change the format and add it to your iTunes and all that good stuff. So um, it's a really, really nice application, but it's it just came out of beta like a month ago. So it's I mean it's fairly new. Um, but there's adding new features and stuff like that all the time. So uh, definitely check it out and um, like I said, it should be getting better and better all the time. Uh, I'm just waiting for the first release where it actually supports the iPhone, and once it does that, I'll probably make a new video and show you know how it interacts with your phone and stuff like that. But for now, the only device I have is the uh, external drive I use as my backup, so I can't really show you much on that because it's just got the same files that are in my library. But uh, again, I should be having some new uh, videos coming up soon, as always, I guess. But uh, uh, yeah, hopefully you uh, subscribe, you like, comment, you know the deal by now. Um, and check out all my stuff, and like I said, if you've got any kind, of, any kind of requests, any questions, you can add me on Skype, AIM, usually I put all that information over in my description, so anything that you want to ask or comment on, just let me know, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you very much.